conflict with high stakes, expense, and affordable cast size. How will this situation play out? That depends, of course, on the level of craft and creativity known as the art form of playwriting. So let's rewind from the start and see what happens. I'm gonna jump and nobody can stop me! Don't! Okay. <laughs> Not very satisfying, is it? Where's the tension versus suspense? What audience member is going to want to pay today's ticket prices for a play whose conflict resolves in 45 seconds? But most importantly, where can you go from here? Gee, you could have hurt yourself. Gosh, you're right. That's a really hard out. Want to grab a coffee? Sure. Without intense oppositional desires, also known as conflict, you have no play. When Nora leaves in a doll's house, nobody wants to hear her husband say, call when you get work. So let's start the scene over. This time, maintaining the conflict. I'm gonna jump, and nobody can stop me. Don't! Screw you! No, you won't! Screw you! Uh. <laughs> Let's rise above the profanity, shall we? It, it alienates conservatives and makes liberals think you're a second-rate David Mamet. So let's try that again. <laughs> I'm gonna jump, and nobody can stop me. Don't! So why not? Excellent. See, now you can just feel the suspense rising, can't you? Your suicide is a sin. Big deal. Theater's written by sinners, about sinners, for sinners. Nobody goes to Othello to hear Iago. You're being naughty. Let the audience make their own judgments. Rewind, and this time, let's try a different tact. Why not? Because I love you. I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Um, let's see if we can find something less cliche. Why not? Because if you jump there, you're going to land on my little girl's little face. And my little girl. Is this better? <laughs> now what do we get? Be wary of minor obstacles unless, of course, you need to fill time. Again? Why not? Mine isn't! Excellent! See, here we don't just have a plot, we have a theme. Theme, the difference between entertainment and art. No theme, add a car chase and sell it to the movies. But with theme, you have the potential to create something meaningful, something memorable, something that college students can write their term papers about. So let's rewind a bit and see where this thematically rich drama goes now. Because life is worth living. Mine isn't! Gosh. Some expositional subtlety, please. Because life is worth living. The mind isn't. Are you sure? Um, better. Yes, I'm sure. I'm broke. I have no friends, and I see no reason to continue. Okay, so you're broke and you're friendless. All experiences are transit. Just protect. Of all the world's great religions, Buddhism is the least entertaining. Let's try that again. So you're broke and you're friendless. Why not try Prozac? <laughs> Popularity and effectiveness of modern antidepressants is one of the greatest challenges of contemporary dramaturgy. We no more want Willie Loman to solve his problems with Prozac than we want Stanley and Stella Kowalski to get air conditioning. How can today's play rep right deal with today's medicinal days, Ex Machina? Let's see. I tried Prozac once, made my mouth really dry. Not great, but we'll let it slide. Let me help you. It's too late. It's not. You don't understand. I haven't told you the worst. Fictional characters are rarely straightforward. You see, until a few weeks ago, I was in love. Deep love, true love. I was involved with two of the most wonderful gals in the world. One was sexy, rich, generous, and caring. The other, streetwise, daring. Dare I say it, even sexier. Between the two of them, I had it all. But then they found out about each other. <laughs> and they dumped me, not just one, but both. Excellent. Here we have a heartbreaking situation with which we can all identify. Maybe not in the specifics, but in the universal experience of rejection. Yeah, well, at least you had to accept me, Ferris. I haven't had a date in a year. Superb response. Another situation in with which we We've all had friends who've had that problem. 
So what are you telling me? That life can get worse? That's supposed to get me off this place? I'm just trying to help you. Well, you're doing a lousy job. You've well, always got some money in the bank. You've always got rocks in your head. A common beginner's mistake. Two characters in a hostile disagreement isn't conflict, it's just bickering. We don't go to theater and hear petty puerile antagonism. That's why we have families. So let's hope this goes somewhere interesting or I'm gonna have what we want. You've only got money in the bank because you're cheap. <gasps> You're certainly dressed like you are. Well, this is really degenerating. <laughs> Let's get in here, you stupid twerp. Is that a twerp with a decent dating life? Yeah, this is a decent life. Maybe she'll have a dating life. Loser. Enough. 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 Gosh, you're right. Want to grab a coffee? Sure. <laughs>